So iOS 12 beta 3 should be coming to us either this coming Monday or Tuesday. Here are a few changes I'd like to see in the upcoming beta from Apple. So you might notice I'm using a new web browser on my iPhone and that is Brave Browser. Super good web browser which blocks ads, trackers, and makes sure your browsing experience is private. It works with Android, iOS, Mac, and PC, so if you want to try it out for yourself, head over to the link in the description below. And no, this is not a sponsored ad, I really just want you guys to go check it out for yourself. So first thing is really the alarm system. If I ask Siri to set an alarm for 4 o'clock and it's 1 p.m. currently, then it will set it for 4 a.m. the next day. This bug has honestly gotten on my nerves a few times as I've been late to things solely because of the AM and PM weren't registered correctly. Also, the timer app icon on the control center doesn't stop when the timer has already completed, so that's another bug as well. Now, when the alarm finally does go off, good luck hearing it because a lot of the times the sounds and vibrations are off for the alarms. Only on the timer have I noticed any sounds coming from my iPhone. So onto some other issues in the control center and the text on the left side and the right side should be even. I don't think this is Apple's final design and it's more of a bug than anything else. Now the measure app does need some work, but for the most part it works well. Some accuracy improvements should be made, but I think the improvements really need to be made in the calibration process as that tends to take a while to get started. It takes a long time to get started, but once the app works, it works fairly well, so I'm really pleased with the Measure app so far. Still, the Notification Center tends to not correctly place notifications in their respective groups, so a lot of times I get that sort of messy look to my Notification Center as I would running iOS 11. I know a lot of people running the public beta right now have noticed that group notifications don't really work as expected, so this is affecting both developers and public beta testers as well. So those are a few bugs I'd love to see fixed in the next beta. All of the new features seem to be working generally well at this point, and honestly, I'm really pleased with the beta so far. Battery life and performance seem to be doing okay, but on the performance side, less crashes would be nice. Beta 1 was crash free, but in beta 2, my iPhone 10 seems to crash like every hour of use, especially when I have it connected via the lightning port or even Bluetooth. I notice it happens a lot when I'm connected to something via a cable, Bluetooth, or anything else. It just seems to crash and then has to hard reset. So those are some of my thoughts. This isn't a bash against betas, just some suggestions on how to make it better. For all of you running betas, these are betas, so performance and battery life may be affected. If you are okay with that and want to test out the new features for yourself, you can always do so by heading down to the link in the description below to check them out. Now, just to be clear, this video is solely to cover like bugs and everything else. New features really aren't the focus right now because we have a ton of new features and I just like to see those new features work well rather than be buggy and be introducing new features which could introduce more bugs. So I hope that these changes are made and then maybe some new features later on in the beta process, hopefully in like beta four or beta five. So thank you all for watching and make sure to get subscribed and hit that bell button to stay up to date on when we release our videos. So stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one.